I was always struggling with content creation and most likely this video also won't get many views uh, because I most likely will mess up my introduction, this is what is going to happen, but at least I know my problem. But the last two months I was trying to solve the problem of the lack of education of content creation and um, I spent a lot of time understanding what is content creation actually because I have never heard anyone else do this before and I was interested about like why one creator actually makes it happen and makes their business grow and the other doesn't so I spent a lot of time understanding that and um, today I want to teach you something about which I have concluded myself it's about algorithm and how actually it works and I'm going to go into my PC and there I will show it to you. Hopefully you will get some value from it. Of course, after I have shown you how it works, I'm going to show you how I'm going to break the algorithm by understanding it. So actually how the algorithm works is firstly we have to understand the platform because every algorithm is on a platform. So firstly, this is how the algorithm works, but what is a platform? Well, a platform is a company. And we have to understand this very clearly because if the platform is a company, then what is the company's goal? Well, it's profit. So keep this in mind while I'm going to talk about how the companies actually or how the algorithm works. Keep this in mind that the platform's goal is actually profit. So how the algorithm works? Let's break this down. Let's break down the platform. So there's a creator who's going to create a piece of content. Now, when the piece of content is created, it's going to be uploaded slash posted. If it's scheduled, then it's uploaded. If, if, if posted, then it's up there. It is going to go into a server up somewhere in the clouds where there is the piece of content. The algorithm is going to come and pick out that piece of content which you have posted. Now what it's going to do is pick out this algorithm, this piece of content and it's going to show it on the interface. The interface is what you are watching, the feed, the shorts tab, the for you page, what you are watching. So it's going to show it on the interface. The viewer, because it's watching the inf interface, is going to watch that piece of content which the algorithm pushed out there. Now, after it appears, the viewer is going to consume that piece of content. This is very important. What is going to happen is that if the viewer has consumed that piece of content, it's going to have feedback. How much time it consumed, what did it do from the video, uh, did it leave, did it XYZ things, what did the viewer do on the piece of content? It's either a bad or a good feedback. And if the feedback is good, the algorithm is going to show it more or less. And why? Let me say that in a minute. So how these platform companies make money is that the viewers are on the platform because of the content which there is. Here there is a flywheel that the more customers there are, the more creators there are, the more people come and this is going to go in circles. And this is something about business, but it's not important for us. What is important why a viewer is on a platform or a company is because there, there is pieces of content that that viewer can consume. Now, here, the platform company has some advertisers. So either other companies or other people who pay money for the platform company. And why they pay money is because they can use this viewer traffic and occasionally show their ad to these people. And if the ad is shown, the viewer most likely can will watch or some seconds of that ad and they are going to buy from the advertiser. And this is how the platform company works and how they are making money. They are making money from advertisers who are paying money to that platform company for the, for the ads to be shown to the viewers. So for the traffic they are paying. So why this is really important is this. The algorithm de decides on feedback whether 
a video should be shown more or shown less. Now, why should the video be shown more or less? Just think about it critically. Well, we want the viewer to see more ads and engage with more ads. This is the two main concerns of the platform company. The viewer to watch an ad and click on the ad and buy. This is the main two concerns. So what is the algorithm's main point? Well, it's either to keep the viewer more time on the platform so they can see more ads, or either to make the viewer engage with the piece of content. And what is the two main points here from the algorithm? Well, either to keep the viewer on the platform or either to uh, make the viewer engage. Now, we understand why the keep the viewer on platform is actually good because it sees more ads, the viewer, but why does, why does viewer engagement work? Well, if you start engaging on a pieces of content, like on a platform you start engaging, that you get used to it, like there is this thing called habituation, so when you're doing something and uh, after a time it gets autonomous, like it's, you're doing it automatically. And here the algorithm is going to know that if people engage, they are more likely to engage with ads. So if they engage with ads, they're going to buy, so the platform company makes more. So basically, this is the two goals for the algorithm. And this is how it works. Now, this is how actually a platform works, but let us go to a algorithm. Well, this is the algorithm. The algorithm basically a system of showing a piece of content to a viewer. That's all basically what is the algorithm. But how actually to break the algorithm? Because it's easy to understand, like probably, you know now how it works and actually I've missed something here which is the feedback loop which is the analytics which you're going to see when the algorithm have posted your video and showed it to people you're going to have analytics but if this is the algorithm then how can we break the algorithm well we understand how the algorithm works so I know how to actually break it well we have to align our tasks with the algorithm's goal. So let me break it down for you. This is system thinking. So the input is content, as you can see here, and the process is the algorithm, and the output for you is views and different metrics. Now, how can you actually have better views? So, which is our own goal, this is why we want to break the algorithm. Well, if you input something different. So our content is not focusing on our goals or, or sorry, on views or anything like that. What we are focusing on is what is the algorithm's goal. The algorithm goal is to keep the viewer on the platform and make them engage. So what we have to do is align our tasks with creating content with these two things. So increase how much time a person spends on our video and increase how much per people are actually engaging with our content. If we can do this, then our content is going to break the algorithm because this is what the algorithm wants. Algorithm wants videos which are actually good. So if someone watches it, are staying on the platform still. Because think about it. If you as a platform, you want to make money. Let me come back here. You as a platform company, you want to make money. What you want to do is keep this viewer more, more, more on this platform. So if the algorithm picks out a content and it shows it and the viewer is going to leave the platform after watching that video, there is a sign for the algorithm that that content is not good. Like it watched only one second of it and left. left. So, and do you see how this correlates together? And this is something which is really important for you because if you know what kind of metrics to actually look at and understand, then most likely you're going to break the algorithm. Now, you know that the algorithm wants the viewer to watch more, so being more on the platform, 
and the algorithm wants to be engaging. So wants the viewer to be engaging. So we have to increase the watch time. So what we focus on is creating pieces of content which people are staying on, like watching it rigorously, like not do not stop. So this is the first step. And the second step is how we can do something in our videos which will make them engage. Call to action to comment something or I don't know, a call to action to like the video, to follow, to X, Y, Z, because algorithms like this. So this is how the algorithm works and this is how you can break the algorithm by aligning your goal or your tasks with the algorithm's goal. This is how actually it is working. Now, how can you actually do that? That is your question. Well, it's really easy. Focus on the feedback. So if you just think about in system thinking, there is input here, that is the process, which is the algorithm for us, and output. And we have a feedback loop. This is system thinking, basic system thinking. Now, what do you need to focus on in order to have more views? Well, the input. And how do you know what kind of input is going to have better views? Well, the feedback loop. So what you're going to do is post the pieces of content and see what has better watch time and what has better engagement and why. That is your question. Why? Because if you understand that, you have much better likelihood of making more views next time because you understand the basis of why actually the algorithm pushed your views, your video to more people. There is always some simple small metric which is going to push the piece of content more and more and more to views. So it's like on Instagram what I have seen is if a lot of people save the video that is a very good indicator for the algorithm that it has to push out to more people. So if you can do something that will make people actually save the piece of content then they are more likely to push the video for more people. So this was how the algorithm works and how to break the algorithm and now I uh, want to say that I hope this teaching or telling something was worth your time but now I want to sell you something and I'm going to smile now. <laughs> so what I'm doing is if you're an agency owner, a content creator, coach, consultant, team page owner or anyone who is related with organic content, anyone, let me alleviate your pain and help you generate more views and more money. Go and check the first link in the description below.